Matt, South Africa have picked their team. It's not often that uh, you look at the bench before the starting team. You've obviously been destroyed a couple of weeks ago by your comments with the 7-1 split. He's gone with it, Razzie and Jack, for this weekend through the power and the tactics that they've used and believe it's enough to beat Ireland. Have you changed your tune through all this, Matt, or which way do you see it with the 7-1 again? It's true. The easy thing for me to say would be to say nothing and just go with it because, you know, we, as you say, the online abuse was ridiculous. But anyway, um, I can't. And I'll tell you why I can't because because I played in a game, or, 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 sorry, I've been playing a club mate of mine, a tight head prop of mine at Sydney University Oval in the 80s, became a quadriplegic. Name was Grant Harper. I was there that day. And out of respect for his family, I'm not going to tell you what I saw. I'm not going to tell you what the chain, you know, the, what was happening medically, except it shattered his Grant's life. He never walked again and he shortened his life. He died in 2011. Uh, it, was a change room and, I only th and it really brought a whole lot of things back that i've forgotten over the years the change room was a disaster it was people crying it affected his family for the rest of his life that they were crushed the community was shattered and it wasn't just grant so we had this string and, and, and even quinny would be too young to know this we had a string around the world of quadriplegia and paraplegia it was an epidemic and it, if you have to be over 50 to know this because the game, to its great credit, came in and changed all the laws. Now, the, the accidents were not happening at the international level. There's no internationals became quadriplegics. It was the days when the front rows would charge in, right? And so down the ranks in the lower levels of the game, everyone copied the internationals like they do today. Everyone copies the international line outs, they copy the breakdown, they copy how, how we, we, we scrummage. Everything is copied. And it wasn't the internationals who were really strong and powerful. It was the lower levels of the game that were, were absolutely decimated by these spinal injuries that shattered lives and families and communities. So why am I saying that I am totally against this South African bench? Is it legal? Yes. Is it smart rugby for the World Cup? I, I've got to say, yeah. Is it good tactics? Yes. But it is not morally correct. What I am saying is if lower levels of the game copy the spring box, and they will. There are props and second rowers playing in lower levels of the game who, if they're fatigued and the opposition bring on seven fresh forwards and they go for a scrum late in the game knowing that they get a penalty and they can win the game with that penalty, those guys' spines are in, are in trouble. They're in danger. And, and I, I will not be quiet because I've seen it. And all of us that have seen it firsthand have a responsibility to remind the next generations, do not go back there. And the South Africans, the, I have great admiration for the Springboks. I admire them as a, as a rugby nation. They were the great, one of the greatest with, with New Zealand in the world. This is not right for the game. It might be right for a test match. It might be right for them to try and beat Ireland. I'm not worried about the health of the Irish players. I am deeply, deeply concerned that at the lower levels of the game, this will be copied and it won't be on the front page. Some poor player will become a quadriplegic. It won't be on the front page. It won't be all over the newspapers. It's just his club, his community, his family, and him or her that will have to deal with the rest of their life. But, but, but Matt, That's why I oppose it. That's why I oppose it. And I always will. Okay, mate. Listen, you mate. I don't think, you know, the fact that the South Africans can use a 7 one split is the reason why the game is dangerous. I think... The game's dangerous is because it's an absolutely brutal contact sport. You know, it's like we could maybe say, you're, you're, you're thinking in all of this, is like me saying, you know what, I think, you know, the wingers or the backline players should have a limit in terms of their weight to maybe 85 kgs or something like that, you know, and it's just crazy. Or, you know what, we could say something that makes it a lot more safer is maybe if we could only play touch rugby mate I think that'll make the game a lot safer you know 90% to 100% safer so with that logic I don't think a 7-1 split really makes a difference and to the lower levels I don't think teams have 6 odd players 8 odd players that are going to sit on the bench and be like yeah no I'm, I'm the bomb squad you know I don't think it's it's that serious mate 
not at all.